What is good everybody, today we are going to be breaking down all of the WWE Ultimate Edition figures that we saw back at WrestleMania 40. WWE World, man, we had a bunch of reveals, and obviously I did upload a couple walkthroughs. I've uploaded some detailed shorts of a few figures that were revealed, man, but I did this last year after returning home. You know, when you're there in person, there's so much happening, there's so many things going around, I'm filming so many things, doing so many things, talking with so many people, that it's really hard to break down each individual figure and kind of get all of my thoughts out there like we would in a typical news video. Video when I'm sitting down at the computer talking about it going through the images and such so today man I figured we'd start things off with the ultimate editions and we'll go through every single ultimate edition breaking it down you know what my all of my thoughts are giving you clarity on all of it and you guys can you know discuss it amongst yourselves which ones you want to purchase and all that and maybe we can do a buyer pass in the future on all the figures but there was so much revealed I had an absolute blast but I was totally exhausted and I'm still exhausted honestly haven't recovered from the week even though it was a week ago over a week ago now that we saw some of these figures so I'm I, honestly, the time just flies by. It's an absolute blur. It is truly just ridiculous how busy they keep you out there. So, with those things being said, man, we're going to break down every Ultimate Edition. I'm going to give you all my thoughts, and then we will do this for Elites and Basics in the future as well, man. But let's go ahead and dive into every single WWE Ultimate Edition that was revealed over WrestleMania 40 week. All right, man, so let's start things off with the Ringside Exclusive Outsiders Ultimate Edition 2-pack. Now, this is the next version of these, or the next Ringside Exclusive, because last year we did see the Usos, which was very successful. I like the Outsiders here. I think, you know, Scott Hall, Kevin Nash, two guys that needed some Ultimates here, and we have seen, you know, Razor Ramon and whatnot, and we have seen Diesel, but now we're getting these versions of the characters. I like both these. You know, they're going to come with a slew of accessories. They don't show all their accessories here, but I know that these look pretty good. I'm, I mean, it's kind of a repaint of the Scott Hall, essentially, and then we do get so many accessories that it's sick. I can't wait to see the packaging for these, but I'm intrigued with them. I think they look good. I like the Kevin Nash head sculpt. This should probably be the ultimate, if you will, versions of these characters, and I think that nobody's going to have a problem with that, man. I think both of them look good in each individual way. So yeah, I'm, I'm excited for both of these. I didn't have any issues with them in person. I thought they looked great, and I'm excited to see what's next for these. We also got to see the Monday Night Wars Ultimate Editions, Eddie Guerrero and Mankind in person. Now, I'm not going to get into the Eric Bischoff because it's already in our hands, and some of these figures, I did skip over a, a couple here for different reasons, but we do have the Eddie Guerrero Ultimate Edition Monday Night Wars figure. Really looked good in person, man. I wasn't the biggest fan of these head sculpts, especially the one on the, head, on the figure itself here, but the shirt looked good. The gold looks really, really clean, especially with this skin tone, the more accurate skin tone for Eddie Guerrero. I think you're really going to like this figure, man. I know it can play tricks on you seeing stuff in person versus seeing things online, but this figure is as good as it gets. The gold on this attire is so damn good, and I think you guys are going to like this figure. I like the, Mon the, the Monday Night Wars Eddie is very clean. I like the interchangeable heads. It looked really good in person. We also have the Mankind figure. Now, the one, the head sculpt that has it on the, you know, on the figure in the ring right here with the mask removed kind of looks like Grimm from Grimm's Toy Show a little bit. That's kind of, if you remove the hair. That's the kind of vibes I'm getting here, but this is another figure that looked really good in person. I think that, you know, getting a Mankind Ultimate is certainly something we've wanted, and I think this is going to be your best bet for a Mankind Ultimate action figure, you know. If you want Mankind, this is the one to get, man. I think it's so good. I love the loose shirt. It looked really good in person. I like it a lot. I really do like this Mankind Ultimate. So, I had no, you know, quarrels with either of the Monday Night Wars Ultimates. I think both of them looked really, really good. And so, I'm excited to see what's next, obviously. So, we'll have to see exactly who is coming. But I do like both of these figures. Unless they've revealed it, and I can't remember off the top of the dome. I want to say they didn't reveal it yet, but I don't know. Maybe I'm tripping. I don't know. But I also like the Mankind figure. But let's move all over to the main edition or the main series of Ultimate Editions. And we do have Ultimate Edition Series 23 Jey Uso. Now, a lot of people were bummed out it's not a Yeet Jey Uso or Main Event Jey Uso. But I did, I, I want to say when we predicted the lineup for Ultimate Edition Series 23, what gears they'd go with, I did predict that it would be SummerSlam. I do, this is, do believe this is from you know, his matchup with Roman Reigns. It doesn't have the crop top shirt, which I'm kind of, I don't know, I'm not annoyed by it, but I'm like, damn, I wish they would have included the crop shirt. And then the head sculpts aren't anything, you know, I think they're solid. I don't, I can't remember if they're, I want to say they're repeat head sculpts, if I'm not mistaken, but it's a solid figure. And also another thing about this figure and the John Cena we're about to discuss is the shoe mold on these guys is new. This is a new shoe mold, which I will get into. If you guys look at it, it is similar. It's very, very similar to the last one, but uh, the shoe mold here is 
new. I saw it in person. Me and Steve talked about it. This is a new shoe mold. It's a little bit thicker than the previous version, but he said that he feels like like there, this one's already on its way out, so this isn't going to be the shoe mold for long. They said that they figured out a different way and that they did have a new shoe mold coming that is going to be better than this shoe mold, so I guess this one's going to be short-lived or something, but hopefully this one still gets all the jobs done. And another thing about this Cena figure that we're looking at here is it's very interesting because this is the first time they've ever given him these tall shoes with the shorter shorts mold. So this is an Ultimate Edition Cena that doesn't have long jorts. That's the first time we've ever seen that. And it's the first time we've ever seen the shorter short, like Elite John Cena short mold with the taller kicks, which is also interesting. And he never really wore high tops with this attire. So, I mean, that's not the biggest deal. It would have been cool to see a new Ultimate Edition lower shoe mold to fit with this Cena. But I, I don't mind this gear. I'm glad that, you know, we're getting a Cena Ultimate, even if it is a gear that I like the gear. And I obviously, I love John Cena. I want all the different attires. But, you know, I would have preferred a, a flashback figure. That's really what I wanted here. So that was a little bit disappointing, not going to lie. You know, I, I just don't. I obviously always connect with John Cena, and I love John Cena. But it would have been really cool to see, you know, one of his flashback gears here because I type personally more to that, and it would have hit me more. And, you know, I'd have felt more drawn to it. But I still like this as an ultimate. I love the towel. The shirt looks good. The removable armbands and everything like that. So this John Cena is good. I certainly am excited for it. But uh, we, we'll, we'll get into the fan takeover here soon. But we also have a look at the last figure in Ultimate Edition Series 22, which is going to be Gunther. So Gunther here in Ultimate Edition Series. We do have the brown gear, which is going to match our Imperium Elite 2-pack that's going to be Mattel Creations exclusive. And we do have a yelling head sculpt. We have a gritting head sculpt. We have the straight face head sculpt. Pretty solid, I'd say. We are looking at a new torso mold. It looks like for Gunther, I thought his Elite figure was so good. So having an Ultimate to him is solid. I think if you have the Elite 102 Gunther, though, you can completely skip this. I don't think this is must-have. I don't know if he's going to come with the Intercontinental Championship. I don't know what the deal is there. And it's not my favorite gear. Would have preferred the black attire, the navy attire. But it is a Gunther Ultimate, so I guess there's that. But yeah, we do have Gunther in Ultimate Edition. I love Gunther, so I really don't have any issues with it. It's just not my favorite gear. Didn't think it's necessarily needed, but I think having a Gunther Ultimate is cool. You know, I'm down for that right there. But let's move on to the next figure, man. We have the Fan Takeover Amazon Exclusive Ultimate Edition Seth Rollins. Now, this was huge for us. You know, we were uh, just patiently awaiting, just begging Mattel not to pick the Shield gear and that people didn't vote for Shield gear, and they didn't do it, man. They did not do it. They actually did give us the better gear. And this isn't a, you know, it's a beautiful action figure, but it's not your typical Seth Rollins, you know. I feel like Seth Rollins doesn't have a, besides the Ultimate Edition, and then maybe the Elite 99. You know, they keep doing these black and gold gears. We saw two more black and gold gear Seth Rollins Elites to go with the, I mean, the Elite 99 is even black and gold. So I really hate that, you know, all things considered, we haven't gotten more of these bright attire Seth Rollins figures in Elite form because I don't know if it's the deco or what, but it's like they can't give us any of the bright gears. This is the only one. It's not even, I mean, it's wrestling gear, but it's not his typical tights with kick pads, right? So I don't know. It's a bit weird how, you know, we have all these bright, colorful gears and we don't get any of them in figure form. So it's just weird that that's the reason. We keep getting black and gold gear. So I don't know. Uh, let me know what you guys think of that down in the comment section. Regardless, this figure looks amazing. I love the jacket. I love the headpiece. Very cool stuff going on. It's a repeat of the head sculpts from the Ultimate Edition the first time around. But it's certainly going to be a great figure. It looks like it's going to pose around well. All those different things. I am very excited for the figure because it looks amazing. And I think it's going to be an early contender for Ultimate of the Year. But which we'll have to see at the end of the year, of course. But yeah, I mean, I just think it's wild that we have been missing so many damn Seth Rollins attires. And we haven't gotten any. So I, I don't know. You guys can chime in on that. But this figure was one of the ones that everybody was excited for this weekend because it wasn't shield gear. And you know, it's even funnier that Seth Rollins came out in the shield gear at Mania, which was crazy. So that's even crazier. But Thank God it wasn't the Shield gear. This is a much better toyetic figure. And then we also have a look at Ultimate Edition Series 21, Cody, Sammy, and KO. Now, we did do a full video on the channel. It's like 20 minutes breaking all three of these figures down, breaking down the Legends Ultimate Taker, so I'm not going to spend a ton of time here, but they did look better in person. I'm very excited for this Ultimate Edition Cody. It's a figure I've been waiting on for so very long, right? So I love the new boot mold. Hopefully, these arrive at my door soon so I can get a review up for you guys, and we're going to talk about it and discuss all the different things there. But I was hyped to see Cody, Sammy, and Kevin Owens in person. And figures certainly look better in person. They do look good, but I, my gripes still stand on the original video. If you guys want my full in-depth thoughts on these, you can go check out the video on the channel as it is there. We discuss everything about it. We break it all down. So if you want something similar to that, you can go over there and check it out. But I was hyped to see these in person, get a better feel of how these guys are going to look. But there is that. We also have the Legends Ultimate Edition Dusty Roads here, which was interesting. I did not expect to see Dusty Roads, but I'm glad we're getting it. You got the polka dot gear, something we've seen in Elite form multiple times, but it does look 
like a solid Ultimate Edition. We also got a render shot of the figure. It looks good. I mean, it looks good. I'm happy to have a Dusty here. I think he's deserving of a Legends Ultimate, and so I think that this is a good one here, man. It's crazy because when they're releasing these figures like this, when you get the Ultimate Edition Yokozuna, when you get this Ultimate Edition Dusty Rhodes, I feel like you really don't need another one. You know what I mean? I don't think you need... If you want that epic, perfect representation of the character, this is probably the one you want to go with, right? So I think that's a pretty cool thing there, including these Legends Ultimates. I mean, hell, even that Undertaker they showed off was amazing. So seeing this here is great. I, I liked a lot of the Ultimate Legends that we got over the weekend here. And speaking of which, we do have the Greatest Hits Batista Ultimate. And apparently that first go-around sold like hotcakes. Apparently that Ultimate Edition Legends Target Exclusive Batista was one of the better-selling Ultimates that you'll see. So, I mean, Ruthless Aggression, right? I mean, we're all aboard the Ruthless Aggression train, and I think that, you know, we need to buy more of these guys. But this is great. I know a lot of people, including myself, were thinking, oh, it's just a re-release of the Target figure. Kind of bummy that figure didn't release that too long ago. Why are we getting it again? But at least they repainted the gear, man. I mean, this is a beautiful attire here that a lot of people are going to want. I want to say, I don't want to butcher it. I want to say it was like, was it Judgment Day or something? There was some, I don't know the exact gear off the top of the dome, but the blue gear here with the silver boots is a beautiful figure. I know a lot of people are going to want to track this down. It is a re-release of the Ultimate Edition Target exclusive, but it's going to be pinless and it's going to have an updated gear there. So I know a lot of people are going to be excited for this. Easy cop all day, Batista. Getting another figure of him. I, he was one of my favorites growing up, so this is easy money for me. And then the other half of the greatest hits is going to be the Amazon exclusive rock with the red trunks with the butterfly joints. So you guys know that they did have the original Amazon exclusive, then they re-released it as a Target exclusive Legends with the track suit and the blue logos with the butterfly joints. And now they're redoing that original figure that a lot of people loved, pinless with butterfly joints. So another way to get this figure, it's a great figure, man. I mean, I, I really don't know what you want there. Uh, you know, the original is probably going to decrease in price, but you know, you get the Brahma Bull T, you get a lot of bells and whistles. This is definitely going to be one that I track down if I can find it. And I think it's kind of bummy too, because you know, now we're getting into these greatest hits figures that are re-releasing, but they're changing them slightly. You know, that's a dangerous game right there, which I'm all for, at least if you're going to re-release it, at least change it somewhat. So I'm all for it, kind of. So I, I don't know if there's that, but you guys can let me know. I, I was happy to see this wasn't the bald rock. I was excited to see another flashback rock and a repaint of that Batista Legends figure. So that really, uh, that was hype for me. I liked that. But we also had the Amazon exclusive Rey Mysterio Ultimate. This figure certainly looks better in person with the t-shirt and all the masks and stuff, but I don't really care for any of the head sculpts outside of the one where he's pulling the straps down. And I still think it's a plain Ultimate. I still don't know how this won the vote. You know, the SmackDown debut. It's missing the spider graphics. It's missing the webs. So it's just like, this isn't even SmackDown debut. So that's what's like, <laughs> I don't know. It's kind of dumb because, you know, you put up a figure on the poll and you, it, when you vote on the poll, you're thinking, okay, it's going to include everything that the that the gear included, right? So, and then you get it and it's not, this isn't SmackDown debut Rey Mysterio. This is the Royal Rumble Elite redone pretty much. So it's like, you know, it, is it? It's not really SmackDown debut because it's missing the Spider-Man graphics. So that's just kind of my nitpicks there. It's like, you know, why even give us the option if it's going to change, right? So I don't know. You guys can let me know what you think of that. That's just something that I thought of, but I don't know. I wasn't that hyped for this figure. Maybe it'll change when I get it in hand, but the Ultimate Edition Fan Takeover Rey Mysterio wasn't my favorite. It wasn't my favorite figure. If it had the Spider-Man graphics and some new things going on, I'd be excited for it, but just not one that's moving the needle completely for me. But we also have another Rey Mysterio Ultimate Edition, which looks much better. It's his WrestleMania 39 gear, which we got a render of, and we got the prototype on display, and I call this Bible Man Rey Mysterio because the mask really has those. I don't know. It just reminds me of Bible Man for whatever reason, but being there in person for this matchup. It was a fun matchup, right? You get the, We're getting the low rider and the play set. Getting this here is a really cool Ultimate Edition. I think this is much better than his other girl around. I like the boot molds here, and you know, we are getting Dominic from this exact same matchup, so it is cool to have father-son Ultimates battling it out here, and we're going to see what they look like, but Ray looks good. Dominic also looks good. I'd like to know for the sticklers down in the comment section below that don't believe that everybody or don't believe that certain talents should get Ultimate Editions. Are you guys, do you think that, you know, Damian Priest, do you think that Dominic Mysterio, do you think LA Knight, do you think guys like this deserve an Ultimate Edition? Are you of the camp that only certain guys should have gotten some? I am in the camp of like, I don't think every figure needs to be an Ultimate. So, you know, there are people out there that do torso swap and make every single one of their figures into an Ultimate Edition. I don't think that everybody needs to be an Ultimate. But at the same time, I think that certain guys can't. Like, obviously, I think Damian Priest kind of solidified himself, not only winning money in the bank, but cashing in at WrestleMania and winning the championship. I mean, all, obviously becomes an ultimate at that point. Even though I prefer, honestly, his elites are so damn good. I'd prefer an ultimate with the championship and one of his suited desires, to be honest with you. But 
I know I'm probably alone in that camp. But you know, his elites are so good. I mean, the Elite 109 coming soon is unreal. His previous two elites, the Royal Rumble Elite and the Elite 89, were also unreal. So, I mean, you know, we talk about nobody bats a thousand. Well, right now, Damian Priest is batting a thousand, so it's kind of crazy. However, we do have Dominic and Rey Mysterio in their Ultimate Edition form. I'll, I'll move the hell on now, but kind of gone off on a tangent there. But I'm excited for both of these. I think they look good. I like their accessories, all the stuff. But we also have LA Knight here, which is another Ultimate. Now, what I love about this Ultimate, we do have an Elite that's coming in the Defining Moments line that looks very similar to this. So it's kind of weird. You know, we got his basic in red, and then we got his elite in red. The basic was better than the elite, but hopefully the ultimate will differ from the elite in some way. I think that people are going to be hyped for an LA Knight ultimate. He also has his Jordan 11 boots in here, which I have been waiting on. Can't wait to see. I think they're on the Defining Moments figure as well, but uh, we're going to get into all that when we discuss the elites that were revealed, but hopefully the formula on the ultimate edition is better than the elite. I think they kind of dropped the ball on the elite figure in certain aspects, so We'll see what comes of that, but I do like the LA Knight Ultimate Edition on paper. Well, I kind of wish it was his Royal Rumble gear and the bright, you know, gr you know, the bright yellow to match the Bray Wyatt. And mentioning Bray Wyatt, we do have this, the the previously released, you know, Pitch Black match or Diet Doozy match or, you know, Mountain Dew Pitch Black matchup. We do have this figure coming, which is going to set the world on fire, man. This figure is going to be amazing. I cannot wait for this Bray Wyatt. Obviously, we got some other figures of Bray Wyatt coming as well, but this one is so detailed, so many bells and whistles on it, and I was there for this matchup in the front row where he walked right beside me and threw LA Knight right into my lap. So I most definitely hyped for this figure, man. So you throw in the Mountain Dew, and I mean, this is this checks all the boxes for me personally, but you're getting all these different head sculpts, you're getting the lantern. I mean, I just can't wait to see prototypes of this figure. I know we only have a render shot. We've discussed it at length for a year now, it seems. So I'm hyped for the Bray Wyatt. I'm happy to see him return back to the line where he belongs. So this is awesome. And then we also have Damian Priest, which we discussed. You know, Damian Priest, he's going to come with some cool entrance gear. He's going to come with the, you know, the, the money in the bank briefcase that's purple he's gonna come with these different things and again his elite figures are batting a thousand man so seeing him here in the ultimate edition form i can't really argue with it because he's probably gonna bat a thousand again so we'll have to see what gear it is and all those different things i can't tell off the, off the cuff right here but we will have to see i don't know if it's his street is it his street fight with bad bunny i can't tell but nonetheless i am moving on to the great muta man this was a huge shock i think a lot of people were kind of beside themselves seeing this figure here but i like all the different things going on with it man i mean you're getting a slew of cool accessories. Again, one that I know a lot of people are going to be thrilled with. It looks like this torso is unique. This may actually be, I can't tell if this is the Ricky the Dragon steamboat torso, if this is something different, but I am loving this, man. And you know, they don't put cloth goods in the renders, so I do believe he'll come with cloth goods. He's got a lot of stuff going on there. I just feel like this is going to be one of those figures that moves around great and in hand. So I'm very much looking forward to this, man. What a, one of those that won the weekend. I know a lot of people were very excited for this. So, you know, Muto finally getting a figure here and not only his first figure, but you know, it's a big one. It's it's nice. It's in Ultimate Edition form. People are going to be excited for that one. I don't know if that's mainline or if that's a different line. I want to say it's mainline, but it may not be. That may be an exclusive. We'll have to see. But finishing it up here with our last few figures, man, we do have the Vader here. And much like Yokozuna, it's going to be Ultimate Edition. It's going to be Target exclusive. It is going to be Legends. We have the regular edition and we have the Chase variant. You guys know that Yokozuna is getting the black variant with the white variant on the belt. And much like Razor Ramon, you know, the Razor Ramon was different because it changed a lot. The Vaders don't change that much and the Yokozunas don't change that much. But getting a Vader Ultimate, much like Dusty, right? You get that, you get that perfect execution of a talent. And it's like, why do I need any others, man? I don't know. I guess that just depends on what character it is and who you collect and who, who you hold dear. But for me, man, it's like, if I got this Ultimate Edition Vader, I wouldn't need any other Ultimate or any other version of Vader for me personally. But I mean, that's just me. You guys can chime in down in the comment section below, says the guy with 372 of the same character. But we also have a look at Coliseum Collection Series 5. We have Ricky the Dragon Steamboat and Ted DiBiase. All of these look great, man. I really like the formula here. And I, I'm liking that I'm seeing some pin joints here on Ricky the Dragon Steamboat. That means he's not going to be super tight. And I also wanted to mention, I got a couple pin or pinless joints here recently that were not as tight. So maybe they are making some adjustments there. I'm not entirely sure, but I like the Ricky the Dragon. Even if it is kind of plain Jane, I like it. I really like this and I think it's going to stand out a little bit. It's different than any other Ricky that we've gotten. And I like the gi and everything. So that's cool. And then the Ted DiBiase in the black suit with the pink accents is so sick. I love this. I do believe it's going to be what? A cloth goods white shirt, cloth goods, you know, jacket. Jacket. You got the cloth goods pants. You got the damn tie. 
You got the money. You got the yelling head sculpt. Again, pretty much a perfect representation of Ted DiBiase. Even though we have so many good Ted DiBiases, this one's so good, man. I'm really looking forward to it. So, you know, I, I always love a good pink suit, man. So, and I'm, I'm a bow tie guy. So, me and Ted DiBiase are all in the same there. That is great to see. But the last thing that I want to discuss here in the Ultimate Edition video, man, is going to be the Fan Takeover Cast Your Vote Ultimate Edition polls here, man. They picked two of my favorite superstars of all time, John Cena and Randy Orton. Now, obviously, John Cena. I didn't ever vote, man. I didn't even see a, a QR code. I don't know what the hell. I don't know. I'm so worried, man. I'm so worried because I didn't see a damn place to vote. Or if I, I guess I missed it or something. But yeah, man, I didn't cast a single damn vote. If you guys voted for this, please let me know. But the three options were WrestleMania 20, WrestleMania 23, and then WrestleMania 26, I think it is, in like 2010 or something. And I swear to God, if this orange shirt John Cena wins, man, I'm going to have to throw myself the hell out in the yard. There is no reason that that John Cena should win, man. I mean, you're talking about primetime John Cena WrestleMania 23 match with Shawn Michaels much better Ultimate Edition selection than WrestleMania 26, man. There is no damn reason that we should get that orange gear version of John Cena over WrestleMania 23 or WrestleMania 20. Now, th this is what my thing is, man. I don't want WrestleMania 20 John Cena in Ultimate Edition form because they're going to leave off all the details, man. There's not going to be a single damn detail in there. Uh, the hat is Mitchell and Ness. It's going to be blank. This jersey was Patrick Ewing. It was New York Knicks. It's going to be blank. The mushrooms on the wristbands gonna be gone the nintendo logo the trans am logo all these things man all these things are gonna be left off the figure so it's gonna be a very plain they're gonna put cena on the back it's gonna say like cena on the front in new york nick font or something it's gonna be just done it's not gonna say new york it's not gonna have all the details man so that would be my thing about that figure i don't want that because it's not gonna be accurate at the slightest they can't put all the logos and it's just kind of a wasted spot in my opinion now on the 2010 version we have that in elite form, and I know you could say, oh, we have the WrestleMania 23 in elite form too. Yeah, but that figure was trash. The WrestleMania 23, it was in the WrestleMania 34 elite line, John Cena, WrestleMania 23, it was abysmal. The hat deco was terrible. The wristband deco was terrible. The shirt was like a damn baby gap size, man. It was a youth size t-shirt. It was way, it was, it didn't fit right. We only have that figure with green shorts. We need these shorts made in Ultimate Edition form. We need these armbands in Ultimate Edition they form. They were not accurate at the beginning. You get these armbands in here. You get this hat in here. You'll be able to make other versions of John Cena. So that is why we need green shorts, WrestleMania 23 Ultimate Edition John that's Cena. That's all I'm going to say about it, man. So I don't even know if the vote's over. I don't, I don't know about all those things, but... My God, I hope to Jesus that that is the one that wins. Now, when we get into Randy Orton, we're not going to see that figure for a damn year. That is the new Seth Rollins, right? And it took a year to even see the figure. So I imagine at WrestleMania 41, we will see that Randy Orton on display. But that's a year away, man. So I don't even care at this juncture. It doesn't really matter, honestly. If I had to pick, again, I would probably pick WrestleMania 34. And the reason I'm saying that is because like John Cena's WrestleMania 23 figure, that Randy Orton was in the WrestleMania 34 Elite Way and it was god awful the wrestlemania 33 representation of orton was terrible it was not good i mean i'd be fine with rumble 24 i'd be fine with you know the we already got that fan takeover in elite form so i mean it would be cool to have a legend killer version of of randy orton ultimate edition form don't get me wrong but i think that the better looking figure and the you could kind of write that wrong of that elite figure from wrestlemania 34 figure with the uh, with an update to that elite in Ultimate Edition, form. that is so. all my rants right there, man. I know I kind of went off a tangent there, but I wanted to discuss all those things, man, because it's important, man. People would just be voting to vote, man. And I know I I, I have a voice, so I want to go ahead and you know just put my thoughts out there so you guys can understand where I'm coming from and maybe you feel differently, but. You know, I, I'd like to know what you think of all that down in the comment section below. But that is going to wrap up all of our coverage of the Ultimate Edition figures that we saw at WrestleMania 40. Now, I may have left out some, and if I did leave out some, I do apologize. But you guys can let me know that all of that down in the comment section. I tried to get, you know, give my thoughts on everything. And we are going to break down the elites. We're going to do all the different things, man. But uh, today I'm editing a video that I'm super excited for. And it should be epic. should drop tomorrow. Hopefully, if I can't get it out, you know, I can't get it out. It's requiring a lot of editing because I effed up the audio and a lot of stuff over the rest of many a week. So I do apologize for that. But nonetheless, man, I'm getting out of here. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Hope you guys did enjoy. Leave me your thoughts on all these things down in the comment section below. Huge shout out to our patron members of the MDT YouTube channel, man. Appreciate all those fellas over there. Also, we are going to do a whatnot stream tomorrow night, so be looking forward to that, man. Lots of cool customs and different one-of-one -one things, mystery items. We're doing a Cody Rhodes Ultimate Edition giveaway. 
So it should be really fun, man. If you guys are interested in that, check it out. And if you are have already signed up for that, man, make sure that your payment method on there is completely good to go so that we don't run into any issues. But I'm getting out of here, man. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at My Name Toys. I'll see you guys next time. Have a blessed one, and I'll catch you later.